Welcome back, heroes, to some more Node Heart. Last episode, we did so much. We did a lot of exploring. Uh, we found some places out, but we just need to find a way to unlock the glitch to go further in, like the toy castle, uh, the way to the snowy lands. So we came to Rain City, and this place is very depressing. We can now uh, use the hacking tool to basically just open up these uh, lifts in the uh, atrium, and we're going to go explore and see what we can find around here. Oh, you want to fight? All right, let's go for it. See how tough you are. We are very, very strong, by the way. So let's just go Earth Block. Oh, this thing's got guns. Gonna rock. Okay. Nice. I was kind of hoping, like, as it was, like, Digimon inspired, there'd be some, you know, uh, Tamas with with guns and rockets and all that stuff. And this looks so cool, but it's easy to beat. Because we are probably a little bit OP. Because we did a lot of exploring. <laughs> It was worth it. All right, so uh, let's continue exploring. Also, apparently there's like a might, like a, a little area I missed and a side quest in the tunnels I need to go back and do, which uh, when I get the chance to go back, definitely gonna do it. So Anomaly is approaching the Echelon. Execute elevated, okay. Uh, Gekko, let's just go Deadly Bite. Easy, and then one more. And then Bash finish you off. Oh, you got a, uh, like a glitchy one. Just gonna bash it a couple of times. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Okay. I can't believe you just did that. That's the first time I think my, uh, my starter's been killed. <laughs> wow. Right, these glitches are no joke. Whoa, stop, stop. Chill. Oh, you did a lot of damage. I just thought more wow. A Shogekun? Level 20, okay. Uh, I'm still a little bit worried, I'll be honest. That's like nothing. Guess because it is brutal, we want to go for a uh, magic attack. Gonna go for a burn down. It's not bad, and we'll go for an evil flame. And then I'm gonna... Do I feel like I revive? I felt like I did. Oh, no, I do. Yeah. Good. I'm just gonna revive just in case. Just in case. What? It's so much. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna heal you up. 200 HP just in case. Uh, let's bite ya. Oh, that's like nothing. Oh, what? Oh, this thing's, uh... This thing is strong. Okay. Here I was thinking I am destroying everyone when I get to this, and... Yeah, I'm getting destroyed. Right, uh, Deadly Bite. So I'm always going to take recoil damage. It's going to be mindful of my HP. Gonna heal up. Okay. And I'm... I think I should be fine. I think I could probably just take you out. Yeah, come on, Deadly Bite. You gotta do 31. Oh, I did 20. Oh, no. Oh, the poison! Oh, that was... Oh, that was hard. Why was that thing so strong? So, fail to terminate, send an alert to dev no not found mechanical override. At least it's gone. Alright, let me go save it, because that fight was... That was tough. I've got to just, like, maybe not be as cocky as I was now. Here I was thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to destroy everyone and everything, and then just... Oh. Oh, that's, uh, the face. That was in, um, Empyrean. Oh, what was the, the name of it? Ah. I forget. This reminds me of, uh, the Genova. But let's, am I, oh, I should probably go and get fully healed. I'll take it slow. If there's more enemies to fight up here, I need to run back. 
we can get healed up around here, that would be good all. So sentience on lower levels are living in poor conditions, yet the Zugara system is able to provide an abundance of everything for everyone. The will to rise up and the lack of, lack of one is what eventually creates an unequal world. Uh, we don't want those that don't have our mentality up here. That's the crux of this divide. Alright, let's check these buildings out. Uh, yo! A visitor? Since lower levels have been blocked off, we must have come here from another part of Echelon. Say, have you heard of DMEs or Dreams, as they're called on the net? I'm talking about a digital memory engram. Okay, associative memory arrays serialized as data that can be replayed and immersively experienced by our consciousness are being traded on the net. The sleep and pod program can be adjusted in a way that enables sentients to relive those stored memories. I no longer have uh, to leave the safety of this block, and I can experience anything fully as if I were living it. Even memories in which the dreamer does very dangerous things, even those in which the dreamer dies. Oh, it's gonna rest. I love the rest of the music. Yeah, looking all good. Uh, I'm trying to think, do we want to... Oh, we probably want to reboot you now. Just because you're max level. really like this Lumi. <laughs> okay, so you're level 1 and you're max as well. Reboot you. Devi Bomb! Can't wait to go check out the toy castle later on when we find a way to unblock it. I right, can't reboot you. And we'll reboot you when you get to level 19. Okay. Let's continue exploring. What do we got in here? Hey, oh. So we were concerned with the uptick of crime in the lower levels, so we requested elevated security. The majority of Zugarat's resources are uh, dedicated to the new program started by the virtuals, so it took more votes than usual. But in the end, Deus listened to us. After all, who's it going to listen to, if not its most prized citizens? I think it was Deus, wasn't it? That was the name of the, uh, the big white mask on the, the like AI stuff in Empyrean. Got a save point. Um, this is the highest level of the city and the highest level echelon. Here we have nothing to worry about. Deus protects us, the Ascended Ones, with their heavenly algorithm. Okay, yo. There's a new emergent trend on the net. Tama monsters, which have previously thought to have been created by some user, but it's becoming clear that they are byproduct of the net itself. Wait a nanosecond, you have Tama here in a pseudo physical form. I'm trading Tama in grams on the net. You begin to trade, say, a Sparkrow for a. a Benary. Um, I don't have one, but I would. There's a teleport pad and a heal box in here. Yo! So, it's a bit unsafe to visit the uh, scaffolds now, but I need some like market services. Stop. Are you one of the uh, service bots? Can you go down there and get something for me? Sure, what do you need? So, uh, I'll embed an encrypted message inside your floaty. Talk to the trader. They'll know what I want. Use that telepad to get there quickly and don't get caught by the guards, alright? Oh, that sounds... Sounds a little bit uh, suspicious. Bit, uh, bit naughty. Oh, that unlocks this one, okay. Right, so we want to go up here. Hey kid, what, you got something for me? Okay, let me see it. Ah, that Echelon Lizard guy sent you to this to get his package. Right, oh, so it's this guy. This is what we need to speak to. So I'll transfer it to your floaty as a hidden file. Stand by, okay? Okay. The package is embedded. Go back to the Echelon and tell him to use his uh, private key to unlock it. Okay. Still seems... Yeah, like this is very highly illegal. Or very just dodgy at least. Right. Oh, uh, who's this? Hey, spit it out already. Where are the materials you promised us? Boy, or whatever you are. Hey, help me out. I'll give you a reward if you thrash these hooligans. Are you serious? Keep get out of here. Our business is with this clown only. Well, stubborn, are you? You'll regret this, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I will. <laughs> well, actually, I don't, don't want to get too cocky right now, just because after what happened last time. Well, we're fine though, we're fine. Unless you bring out one of those big dudes again, then yeah, we're definitely not fine. Got one shot ya. And then we'll just keep uh, kicking. And we'll go bash, bash, bash. 
And the last one. Deadly bite. Got that poison as well. <laughs> oh, you ain't gonna do much. Got a lot of like stuff to go for. But you do like no damage, so. Sucks to be you. One more deadly bite. Nice. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. This is four though. He's he summoned four? Tell me this feels like he's cheating. Uh I'll pop an earth block. Got a little bit of metal claws. Does this thing always make me recoil? I feel like it does. I'm gonna get the poison. Uh, let's go bash. I'm taking recoil damage anyway, so might as well. Are we good? Just gonna keep bashing. And we win. Woo! <laughs> I don't like them things. I don't like them. They are so scary. Ooh, learn Wild Hunt. Sweet. So we're doing a match for this kid. But we'll be back for you, Lizard. Maybe you want to come to Colonel Dump. You'll be safe there. Those fugs. They'll report all of, uh, all of this to Deus. They'll be banished for sure. Now, where were we? Did you get the package? Good. I'll download it immediately. So since you were very helpful, here. This is your bit. Ooh, 5,000. Nice. Take this as well. Realize I don't really need it. And fairy dust. That's all I needed from you. You may leave my abode now. What'd you get though? Don't know what you got, but let's get healed up. Alright. Let's continue exploring this place. Love the little like, side quest you can do as well. It's just so fun. Yes, yeah, so we explored there, so let's go. Can we go? No, you can't go down. Let's go up. Oh! Uh, Metal Boy, finally! We couldn't establish a connection sooner due to some weird interference. So where are you now? You found a locked door. Great. You're in a big hall with white floors. That may be the place then. You'll need to create a, a distraction for us. What? You thought I'd leave you alone in the big city? I'm coming there too. Meanwhile, Lucas is going to hack into those doors. There's a physical AI interface at the top. Go there and break things. Or something. You just need to keep that thing busy while we do this. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, oh man, this is sick. So we are Deus. Citizen ID is not present. State your request. Should we ask Deus to grant you Nexus Terminal Access? Yeah, sure. Nexus Terminal Access is restricted under Ziggurat Protocol. You will now be sub subjected to the Sentient Identification Scan. Stand by. Okay, Sentient Identification unsuccessful. You are an anomaly. Stand by. Received higher process command. Anomaly it must be destroyed at once. Initiate Pulse Beam. Oh, here we go. This is bringing back Imperium vibes, man. All right, uh, a block and then we pass. It's got a lot of defense, got 300 HP. Oh, you know what, I wish I was... Oh wait, no, I think we did come in fully healed, didn't we? Unless I wish I was fully healed, but I just feel like just a half my HP. Uh, Basher, get rid of that armor. And I'm gonna go Earth Kick. Uh, Earth Kick again. I'm gonna go for a Crystal Blast. It's not bad damage. Oh, that looks scary. Okay. Got Burn on me. Uh, what to do? What to do? Let's go Earth Kick. Another Earth Kick. Break the armor. Crystal Blast. That crit, man. That crit was nice. I think one more Crystal Blast. It won't, I don't think it finished. Oh, I did finish off. I'm gonna have a crit. Oh no, you got more HP. Oh, that was it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna just... Earth Kick to break the armor. Go bash. Yeah, I'm taking some recoil damage, but... it's quite a bit of damage we did. 73. And we get HP every turn as well, which is nice. Hey, you took your own recall damage. Let's go. That wasn't too uh, too bad. <laughs> oh, got an achievement. Deus defeat. So switching off all interfacing uh, procedures. Okay. See ya. 
Gotta say you're a lot more difficult in uh, Empyrean. But hey, metal boy, good job. Don't know what you did, but sneaking here was super easy. That door leads to the uh, server room. That terminal you're looking for is probably inside. Don't take too long, though. I don't know how much time we have until the security system re reboots. All right, let's go to check what we want to get. The server room. Ooh. We can do some more rebooting, which means we're going to get even stronger. <laughs> In addition, the maximum number of souls each time I can have is now free. So seek, something's happening. Oh. Auto link complete. Received com program. Identity you found, opening secure channel. Oh no. A communication channel? Here? Oh ho! This can only mean one thing. Seek. Uh, yeah? Does my appearance frighten you? Forgive me. This is the form I occupy in this unallocated vast. My avatar has been stripped away. You were uninitialized at the time, but others used to call me Papa. Uh, now I am nameless. I am no. Ah, yes, yes, the compression. I'll tell you what you need to know, but Seek, uh, don't you want to know what you are? Oh, oh, oh. Seek, I created you and hide to be, oh, hide and seek, <laughs> of a kind of mechanica indistinguishable from sentience, with on par intelligence and human emotion. The artifact that you carry uh, within you is called a node heart. It's a component that gives you sentience, life. It is not powered by electricity. It is, in, in itself, a life force. In truth, we could never have created something like that on our own. Indeed, we had a blueprint left behind by the... something. Or as they are rewritten now, the ancestors. Uh-oh. Okay, what about the compression though? So that disturbance, seek. This channel will be terminated soon. Even this short meeting has brought me immense joy. Before we get interrupted again, I'll tell you what you need to know about the compression. Once initiated, a world compression can only be stopped by injecting a data virus into the Axis mainframe, the digital pillar of this world. I began developing the virus back at Segment Base, together with someone, but I was captured and banished before I could finish it. That dormant code currently resides within your matrix. Now, inside this layer, the mainframe can only be accessed from the debug chamber located atop Mount Nexus. However, Mount Nexus is guarded by an indestructible program, yep, we've seen the dude, tied to the very core of the systems. It is uh, possible to disable the guard program for a short period of time using a forged key, but you'll have to lose a signal, or transfer the rest of the details to your, maybe my floaty, seek, farewell, my child, you will, oh, will what? Hey, we're out of time. The security system is online. We need to get out of here now. Cheese it. That was interesting. That was a lot of like information we got. But, uh, yo, do you want to get uh, get us scrapped? Deus already blocked all the main exits. Now we have no choice but to jump down. Uh, jump? We'll be fine. We're made of metal, remember? Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, but I don't want a dent. <laughs> you okay, metal boy? Oh, hide. Hello, can you hear me? Lucas, good timing. We need an exit now. Roger that. Uh, head straight for the balcony. There's a firefly waiting for you. Okay, let's go. Right, uh, blocked. Uh, that's blocked. Which way are we going? I'm gonna save the game as well. But where are we gonna be heading next? That is the question. Hey, yo! So, are you ready to hop on this thing? This place will be a swarm with bots any minute now. Seek, I believe the Firefly driving program into your matrix. And once you hop on, I'll transfer the route you need to take. All right, that's all we need. Let's do this. Ooh, to hit the pedal, metal boy, I can see bots on our tail. Whee! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I love it when games like this do different, uh, different, uh, gaming, uh, gameplay. Like when we went into um, like the the Flatlands, and we just had to like like. Mario 2D jumping. Oh, there's a laser we can shoot? Hey, okay, that's better. Let's show this stupid AI who's the boss. But yeah, love it when games do this. Like when we did Sea of Stars and we had to do like the, oh, uh, the, the Space Invaders, like final boss. Same with Sonic as well. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. Just, just, oh. Careful does it. Careful does it. Oh, no, I got hit. I can see a landing. We're almost in the clear. I don't know how much HP we got, but we're almost done. Good. Hey. So we're still in Rain City. Uh, yo. Hey, you done uh, staring out into the uh, distance? You need to slide down this drain pipe. Lucas said the water will carry us all the way to the marsh. He better be right, because this is kind of a dead end. Hey, grab my hand, okay? Be bad if we got separated before we got out of here. Hey, Misty Marsh. Back outside the, uh, the base as well, but... Oi, you okay? Hey, don't short circuit on me, darn it. Oh. We good? Hey, we're alive. Yo, hey, good to see you too. We've somehow made it back to the hideout in one piece. But what now? What did Papa tell you? He transferred the details to your quest log. Let me see, okay. Mount Nexus, three parts of a key. Some forger guy, a, a virus, what the? So he gets himself banished and now we have to pick up all the slack. Well, it's not like we're left with a choice. So I'll help you stop this compression thing. First it looks like you need to find three key parts and then take those parts to some forger guy. That's gonna be the dude we met, um, last episode. But, so, while you gather those key parts, Lucas and I will try to find out more about the virus and the forger, alright? So I'll call you as soon as we discover something, okay? Sounds good. Right, so is our main quest, like, to go and, uh, I guess, oh, well compression. So you must find three parts in order to bypass Mount Nexus, guard code, take them to the forger, finally access the debug chamber and inject the data virus into the thing. But we got the, oh, that's the virus. Scan the statues, that's what I think we need to do. But I don't know where the statues are. But while we're at it, there is a lot more we can do. So, uh, first things first, I'm gonna do what someone said I might have missed. So if we go, uh, I think we just go memory, get back to base. Just gonna heal up and just talk to everyone, make sure everything's all good. So Seek, uh, how good it is to see you? Heard what happened, you came in contact with Papa and you got some info on the compression. That's great news. Can I see your log for a nanosecond? All right, hmm. So they mentioned the debug chamber and three key parts. Yes, yes, this is it. Not sure where these key parts are or where this forger person might be, but there is an alcove alongside the east part of Circuit Shore that keeps emanating strange data. It's worth checking out, but be careful. You can access the east part of Circuit Shore from the B side of Colonel Dump, which will need 20 recruits to unlock the gate. Oh, okay, we haven't got 20. We have... Uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, except thing it just says. No, what does it say? I'll just count one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've got fifteen. Right, we've got to try and find, uh, find more. So apparently, so the first thing we'll do then is we will go back over here. So it's in the starting forest. Up there? Wait, is a glyph there? Sweet. Uh, so we go up here. Oh, I didn't know you can go up here. Oh, okay. Uh, patch. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. What's that? You're looking for recruits? For Colonel Dump? So I would like to open a card shop of my own one day in a town like that, but... Oh. Don't know what a card shop is? Well, how do I put it? place where you can trade cards with other people and play with them. Here, it's easy if I just show you. This is a card game I create, I'm calling it Tama Monsters. So don't worry, it's not that complicated. Do you want me to explain it to you? Uh, sure. So I'll send this info to your recorder as well, so you can check it out at any time if you forget something. So similar to overworld battles in Tama Monsters, you use Tama to fight and win. We'll take turns to play our cards. You can play up to two cards each turn, or you can pass a turn. Playing a Tama card will bring that Tama out into the field, if both of us pass our turns, we move into battle. So if I have no Tama on my side of the field and you attack me directly, I'll lose one life gem. Do that two more times and you win. Okay, simple, right? So let's play a little intro game, shall we? I think you'll catch on quickly. Okay, battle start. 
uh, execution phase. So let's take turns to play our cards. Try switching between them and then choose which one you'll play. Uh... Can't play that. This one? Oh. I have no idea what I'm doing. How do I pass? Oh, upgrade phase, okay. So this phase, all your Tama that can get upgrades receive plus one, plus one. The HP, BP, and now the firewall will go up. I'll stay here until we battle, and while it's up, neither of us can hurt or target opposing Tama with card effects. So if you have nothing to do, press X to pass your turn. Okay, so X to pass turn. No, I surrender, ah! It's not X on my, I don't know what button it is to pass on. Oh, okay, B. All right, so the yeah, X on the controller is not the X there. <laughs> uh, right. I can't play that. Guess Acorn for you. Oh, you just gained one native energy. Uh, app cards usually release energy and Tama cards usually spend that energy as summoning costs. You can have four, Ooh, that just went, that's not good. I guess that goes on you. I can't. Oh, I can play this. And then pass turn. So when the firewall goes down, can I attack? Oh, battling phase. Okay, sweet. So we're battle using our Tama now. Each of your Tama will perform an attack and deal damage to my Tama. Uh, damage is dealt from left to right and is determined by Tama's BP. So our total TP is tied, but I have less BP, so I'll go first. If I will attack first, do you want to attack second? Yes. Fine. Nice, okay, I kind of get what's going on. Alright, so we got draw two cards. And what's this? So summon this. Oh, and you're going to draw, draw two cards, respond. Cancel the last played card. Yes. I know you draw two cards. Well, then you activate Pot of Greed. Oh, victory! Hey! Oh, you won! I knew you'd be good at this. Here, I want you to take this. There's a starter deck, uh, coupled with a handy gadget to help you keep track of your cards. You can challenge me to a card battle after you've checked it out. Also, here, let me give you this pack. It's the first booster pack of its kind. One brand new pack of first edition and native driver. Oh, here we go. Love opening packs, man. I should go on the TCG channel now. <laughs> Ooh, a fireball, flame disc, nature disc, fin armor, and... Ooh, a salafir. Salafir? So I hope you got something good. Uh, when you're ready for a battle, come talk to me again. Right, I'll give you a battle. So, uh, what should I call you? Alright, Seek, do you think you're ready for a real card battle now? I'll use my fire deck, by the way. Yeah, I think I'll give it a go. I like your enthusiasm. So, if you, if you can beat me, I'll award you with a booster pack. By the way, I should tell you about extra actions. You can perform an extra action per phase by pressing the V key. Press the V key during your execution phase, you'll trigger a shard action. Pressing V during your upgrading phase will trigger a shop action. And you can buy one of three cards to play. Oh, and you gain a shard each time you destroy a Tama on the field. Play around it with, with play around with it in battle and see if you can gain advantage using these actions. Okay. All right, now let's battle. All right, come on, we can win this. I'm gonna try my best. All right, so. Put this down, this down. Uh, oh, definitely play this. Draw two cards. Activate Pot of Greed. What does it do? It lets me draw two cards. Uh, so it's one Tama level one. Okay. I'm gonna go dummy. I'm just going to put this down, actually. And I guess we pass? I feel like if I just get everything out, it's probably not the best idea. Can't have more than that. Alright. Upgrade phase. Are they not doing anything? Because... Oh, here we go. I'm going all out, man. <laughs> I'm going all out. 
Oh, upgrade action, press B. So we got, uh, draw a card, 2 HP, 2 BP, someone battle bot to the field. So battle bot, battle bot sounds good, but I'm gonna go with this. Uh, boost you up. Those action points actually seem pretty decent. Right, battle phase. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna attack, so it's fine. Hoo -hoo -hoo, there we go. Do we win? I think we win. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, what a victory! Here, you deserve this award. One brand new pack of first edition native driver. So, how do we recruit her to the dump? I feel like. If I beat her- oh! A lot of cards. I mean, luck, she'll be like, yo! Maybe I will set up this, like, card shop, unless we need someone to recruit someone else to recruit her. Got a rare casket, okay. Hmm. Maybe have to treat my deck a little bit. Talk to me again if you want to play more card games, okay. What's this? Oh, I'll claim a virtual booster pack. Nice. What we got? Flame disc, tiny flame, larvae, lava larvae, and a rare egg incubator. Okay, oh. Sweet. CPU core. Not bad. Oh, power chip. Didn't even notice that there. That was a complete accident. So I don't know how to get you to join at the moment, but I feel like to progress the main story, we probably need to uh, get five more recruits. Oh, that looks terrifying. What is that? Dark ASM. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. They are creepy. Wow, there's another one here? Oh, okay. I don't think it's a good thing to keep popping up. And then I'm gonna probably die here, cause yeah. I do that. It was blind, breeze. Nope, do not want to go breeze, I wanna go candle flame. Yeah, there you go. Like they're easy to beat, but when you first take them out, the first bar HP, they do a lot. And AO. Just need to uh, get away from you. But I know when I need to do some grinding, I know exactly where I'm going, and you're kind of blocking the way. I just need to get in here to. Oh! Oh, lean. Yeah, you're kind of blocking the way. I just need to get the side quest. Nice. Okay, so who did we not speak to in here to get the side quest? Oh, wait. Hey, stay away from this tunnel behind me. That's where the big, scary mouse man lives. You're not pulling your leg, I was uh, there with my little brother, and he got snatched away. Don't believe me? Well, enjoy being digested then. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Okay, so I didn't go check down here. I must have completely missed this. My bad. Well, I probably should, uh, I probably should get healed up, but I might be alright. Enemies around here, we're, we're pretty strong as it is, I'll have a, like one, but the hole. Oh yeah, this! You can hear a uh, low growl coming from this hole. A tummer? If only you had something to lure it out. Oh, what do I need to lure it out? Uh, I definitely remember going in there, I just don't know what I need to lure it. My first voice, cheese. Let's go with more cheese. Uh... So she went outside, I saw Tommy go outside, I can't believe this is this, my love is gone. I was gonna give her a gift, this magnificent cheese I excavated, but now it's all too late. Wait, you're from the outside, aren't you? And I'll give you this magnificent cheese to you, and then? When you see Tommy, give it to her and confess your love to her, I mean, my love. Oh, please take good care of that cheese, and thank you so much, stranger. Oh, okay, so that's another quest. Love letter. Okay. Uh... I guess I'll 
go and do that first. I can get healed up when we go back. Uh, yo, never eat pears. I'm this tunnel's physician and this is my advice to you. Okay. Don't like pears as it is. So let's go back. And I'll probably buy some, like, cheeseburger or something. I don't know what I need to draw this out, but... Just gonna get a bunch of different food. Well, that's the way to go. So, Kira, uh, don't worry about me. I'm content with loitering here. Should hurry and find that Nexus terminal before it's too late. I'm trying, I'm trying. There's a lot to do. Right, so, uh... Hey, Seek, what's that? Cheese for me? Someone from the tunnel sent it to me, and they're confessing... Uh, well, I don't know what to say. I guess I should respond, but how about this? Since I don't know who they are, they should come visit me here. Yeah, I think that's a good response. Can you relate it to them? Sure, I can do that. So that's the way we need to go. But we need 20. Have I been in here? Colonel Cave. This is so... Like... I feel like we're going to get, like, six different things that are going to help save the world, and they're going to be stored there, or that's going to be like maybe trophies or something. Oh, so where's the arena? Uh, oh, they're not here yet, are they? Is that you? I didn't even ask your name last time we met. Seek, huh? Curious name from Mechanica. I'm Ashley. We clean this corner a little bit and we're working for construction workers, waiting for construction workers to arrive. We built a brand new arena here, as promised. It will potentially be the best thing ever. You'll join the program, right? I will. Great. In the meantime, I think I'll check out that exotic diner over there. Yeah, I need to, uh, get this built. Decided to leave the mansion together with Miss Ashley. I'd like to help her as much as I can. That's nice. Right, so let me just, uh, progress the day then. I just feel there's, like, so much I need to do. Wait, what's this on the side? Oh, it's the manual. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Right, so let me buy some stuff. Hey, Seek. Oh, the Rayland's gate is open. That's great news. Gonna feel bad for leaving this shop vacant, though. So if you can find a new shopkeeper to replace me, I'll go back to adventuring. How's that sound? Oh, okay. It's a deal, then. Hey, I asked Mr. Shishi if I could work in this little shop here. He said it's okay. Uh, by the way, I never got your name. Okay, Seek, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, we'll do. Oh! Hey, Seek. Uh, feeling hungry? Yes. Just gonna grab some of this just in case. So there's the arena. Uh, what do you sell? Definitely want the life chip. I don't know what we need, so I'm just gonna get, like, oh, no space. Uh, wisdom on you. Strength definitely on you. Life on was blind. And then we're gonna get. Oh. Chipworm, carrot, meat. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what we. Oh. Oh, you sell stuff as well. Okay. Uh, what else do we wanna do? So the arena, I'm not gonna do the arena just yet. There's a shortcut though, isn't there? Back into the thing from Circuit Shore. Go tell what's his name? John? Johnny? I'll let him know, and then if he joins the the dump, that's gonna be great. Oh no, it was was it you? Yeah, did you deliver the cheese? You did? And she responded? She wants me to come meet her? Okay, I have to immensely prepare for this. Thank you again, stranger. Oh, got some cheese. Alright, let's go and see if uh we can go lure this thing out. Oh, here we go. Cheese. I smell cheese. What's this zappy? Level four, though. <laughs> yeah, we definitely should have done this quest a long time ago. But I forgot about it. Well, didn't know about it, and I forgot about this little cave bit. Oh, no, you're... Oh. You look cool. Uh, deadly bite. <laughs> Nice. 
Girl, you are strong. Hmm? No, I'm not a Tama. I look like one, but I assure you, I'm a man. Oh, okay. You want me to come to Colonel Dump with you? Other mouse people are already there. Hmm. Does cheese exist over there? Something even better than cheese. Don't make me laugh. But I'll take your word for it and visit your town. You're stronger than me after all. Shall I take this token of victory with you as well? Hey, a card. Nice. Okay. That's another one down. Uh, so what else do we want to do? We got a lot of quests. So find a new shopkeeper who will replace music. Wasn't there someone in uh, Access Plains? I feel like there might have been. Right, I'm going to go back here. Just trying to remember things now, it's so difficult. No, that's the, uh, yeah, no, the lower bits. That's where I want to go. I feel like someone wanted to open a shop around here. Uh, at least to Misty Marsh. Uh, yo, scrap kid took my legs while I was asleep. Aw, poor kid. You know, I was a sentient living somewhere about the Rain City Scrapyard. We call him Scrap Kid because he collects parts from broken bots. If it weren't for him, this town would still be littered with parts and wires and whatnot. So what does he do with all of them parts? Beats me. Hey, if you see him, please tell him I'd like my legs back. Okay, we're getting a bunch of quests we need to just, obviously, try and do. Now to come to this, we have plenty of uh, space for travelers welcome. We also have space at, uh, my place. And the dump, you can come there. Those four left the town, I'll probably went on a trip. I don't blame them. There's not much to do around these parts. Right, uh, let's go check out this house. It's a safe house. Was it you? Apologies, I cannot maintain my stable conversational program. That's just a recording. What's this? Memory full. Uh, what to go for? What to go for? I don't know. I'm going to go back, though. I can't remember who. I feel like I spoke to someone that needs it. Oh, wow. Come to your town? Uh, what is your name? Seek. As promised, I'm here, and I decided to grow meat in these uh, pots behind me. Now, this meat does not come from Tama. Uh, these pots are made to accumulate protein-rich data that flows through the systems. Over time, the accumulated data reaches critical mass and form, and becomes meat. Now that you know that, you can uh, come and talk to me if you want to buy some meat. Also, I'll give you a free sample each day. So eat. Uh, I'm just gonna put some of this in. I want to keep the grey ticket. Uh, I think. I'm just gonna put some stuff away for now. Did he ever come back to you? No. All right. Uh, let's go and do the arena. <laughs> So Ashley's Arena. Probably should save it. I forget what rank the dudes that I needed to be. So there she is. Let's go to the left first. Uh, hi. So a new building and I'm standing in it. This place is very empty though. Guess the higher rank we get, the more business we can drive to it and then more people might come. Hey, welcome to the arena. Do you like what you see? Well, I know it's pretty empty at the moment. We'll fill it up in no time. Now the battle stage is still under construction. The car drop area is complete though. Oh, it seems arena designs come with such a space automatically. Not a big fan of cards, but if it brings more people to the arena, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, that place is just as empty. I know uh, next to nothing about cards. If you know someone who might be versed in card games, yes, we know exactly who to speak to now. Okay, the arena is still under construction. We're still deciding the tournament rules. Come back later. So let's go and get the card person. Nice, you get one thing, gets another person. Whew. We're slowly doing it, man. We're building this city up. Alright, so just over here. Those like glitchy things are yeah. Terrifying. Yo! Ugh, wanna play? Uh actually. Oh, you're saying there's a card chopping kernel dump now? Ashley's invited me to visit? Oh, sounds fun. I'll check it out right away. 
Okay, sweet. So let's go back and maybe you can give me your card and I need to decide what else I can do. I'm trying to think like there is I guess we can just probably just go for some of the side quests to try and finish them if I can't do things. But uh yo. Oh seek. This is a really nice place. I talked to Ashley and she was okay with taking with me taking over the card shop. Oh man, my very own card shop. Always dreamed of this. It's great to hear you like it too. Seek, now this place is pretty empty right now, so I wanted to ask you a favor. So I invited two two nearby uh, mechanicus here, but I'd really love it if we could get other sentients to visit too. Take this poster I, de uh, I designed. It's basically an advertisement for the shop. So I saw a uh, blank billboard near the mechanic's house when I was coming here. And since you know the mechanic better than I do, I think he'll let you hang this poster there. So help uh, help get us noticed. I'm sure of it. Thanks for your help, Seek. Wait, I'm gonna pick it up first. Alright, so let's go and plop this up. Alright. Uh, okay, and... Let's go and speak to her now. I'm not sure how to speak to mechanic first. Hey, see, good job. Oh, uh, someone already saw the poster and came here. It's that boy in the uh, gecko onesie. Ah, his name is Benny. All right. He asked for a water element deck, so I gave him uh, some of the new cards I'm designing. This could be a good test. <laughs> well, good luck. Oh, just kind of hoping to uh, get your card. But Kara, I saw your poster. This uh, card game seems interesting. I was getting kind of bored anyway. So Mr. Owner explained the rules to me and gave me some pre-release cards. I feel special. Wanna play against me? Uh, not right now, but I will do. Now that's done, can we go to the arena? So if, see if fans want to run the card shop, excellent. The arena preparations are almost complete as well. While we wait, there are a few things that still need to be done. One, we need to set up ads for the arena. No one's gonna come if no one knows about the place. You've probably seen those TV panel polls uh, while you were traveling around. Oh, Yes, I have. Find out a way to get the arena advertisement up there. Need uh, ads up and running before the opening. Oh, where was... Th I saw one recently. And I don't remember where. Was it in the cliffs? I feel it was by the cliffs. Right. Uh... I know there was a TV over this way. Wait, it's one there. Oh, out the way. TV pole, you're not sure how to install the arena ad though. Perhaps you need an ad expert. Oh, okay. Right. Ad expert. I don't know who that's going to be. I want to talk to you again because it's been a while. I want to see if you've seen anything with the uh, the glyphs we've found so far. So you're back, and what's that? You've collected three unique glyphs. Exactly what I asked for. Just a second. Yes, the codex pro pro uh, program should be active. All right, nothing changed again. Well, I'm not sure if you ever crafted anything, but if you try crafting items now, you'll be able to craft more stuff. You need to expand glyphs, though. For example, crafting a shield generator from a shield boost should now be possible, but it'll cost you one glyph. Okay, if that's not something you're interested in, feel free to ignore it. Of course. Now my research would really benefit from more glyphs. Find seven. Well, I think I've got seven unique ones. Oh, you got the seven unique glyphs? That's exactly what I needed. Okay. The sort of program should now be active. All right, let me explain. With these glyphs you collected, I was able to unlock a special sub-program that can edit Tama memory. Specifically their text. Some of their uh, swaps might cost additional glyphs, but you can now swap text between different Tama. You can even swap text that your Tama can't learn. That will cost you a lot more. Well, no need to thank me for this. Uh, you did go out your way to find these for me, so I didn't even ask your name. Seek. All right. Uh, and my name, uh, you can call me uh, JL or JL if you prefer initials. Here, you can have this to remember it. <gasps> nice. Oh, so worth it. All right. So Seek, talk to me again if you want to swap some text. Right. So we just need to get three more cards. What else can we do? Uh, quest, quest. So, uh, that's 25. We can't go to the Snowlands. 
trapping protocol force has been activated for, but what or whom is it for? I don't know how to find the chief. Maybe we should go back to protocol forest and see if I can find anything. Um, can go back to the uh, meadow to try and get the fish and explore a little bit there. The hidden tournament we can't do until we set up our tournament. I don't know where the statues are, but I need to try and find them. World compression. Let's find three parts. Okay, and that's the main quest. Main quest. Got to find a new shopkeeper. I found a new shopkeeper who will replace me. Easy. So visit Rain City scrapyards and look for a scrap kit. I need my legs back. That should be doable. So find a way to display at. Uh, arena ads on the TV polls and get the ads up on at least three of them. Right, so I think the easiest thing to me, for me to do right now is go and do this one. Because getting to the scrapyard is easy. So let me world map back to the Rain City. Oh, I said scrapyard, right? And then I go down. There'll be bugs then, no? So visit Rain City's scrapyards. Where is the scrapyard? I feel like going back takes us to the uh safe room. This is the sewers. Yeah, so it's not the sewers. We need to go a bit further up. Got the scaffolds. Uh, scrap kid. Something strange must have happened at the door controls. Okay, that's not it. So let me go look around. I need to try and find the right place because I feel like it could be around here, but at the same time um could be up top a little bit. But that's a scaffold, doesn't it? So yeah, let me look around until I find the right place. Actually, I take it back because we can't actually go back to Rain City, I guess, for the time being. Maybe when things calm down a little bit, we can go back. So I think what I'll do is... I'm gonna go... And exp I don't think I fully explored... Flatlands? Obviously we can't go to that one area just yet. But if I go down... They're appearing everywhere, man. I think finding the statues is probably one of the... Not these things, is it? Oh, wait, this is the... They're the statues? Oh! Ah, okay. Oh, that makes life a little bit easier then. So we've got one at our dump, and then we need one more statue then. Okay, the third statue is going to be hard to find. Because I'm, yeah, one of them's in our bit. Oh, wait, have I seen the third one? Not that I can think of. Uh, right, let's go exploring. Because I haven't fully explored this place. That's probably something we can pick up. So that takes us back down to the net. Don't want to be doing that. Have I battled you? I haven't battled you. Hey, you're suspicious. First the earthquake, and now an unknown man. Or whatever you are. I'll fight you. Good. Got a Rini. Oh, earth block first. Oh, like, where's the statues? I was in my head, I was thinking it was like, um. In my head, oh, it's more like a big round cylinder tablet sort of thing in my head I was picturing not the statues that we've seen since the beginning of the game the dump and now it all makes sense I think off screen I'm gonna do a lot of grinding go back to the uh, desert and we can do some stuff Ooh, ooh! oh whoa hello if only the Falkman was here. If only the Falkman was here. Hey, we're in an emergency, so I can't you through. Something's going on. Listen, just steer clear of this area. That looks so interesting, man. So we can find this Falkman, maybe... Uh, I heard someone 
uh, I heard someone saw the Forkman heading toward that tunnel place. You know, with our sister tribe, the Mouseman Miners? Oh, okay. Whoa, you look sick! Hello, is uh, somebody standing there? Oh, I guess I was just, it was just my imagination. I'm here! Hey, who's there? Someone just tapped me on the head. I can't have imagined that too. <laughs> Morse code? So your name is Seek. Okay, I understand. So you're a mechanical without a speech module. Sorry, I couldn't respond to you earlier. About my goggles, um... We've got your goggles in the box. My name is Sirio. Uh, well, it's a long story, but I was running from Flatland and I, a white rabbit bumped into me and knocked off my goggles. I tapped my way through and got out somehow. That's the only thing I could tell t uh, tell about them. You'll look for my goggles, really? So if you're entering Flatland from this side, you're going to need to flatten yourself somehow. The dimension blocks will otherwise prevent you from going in. I would help you, but I had to leave behind all my gear. Yeah, we, we've got the goggles. We can go and do that. What's this? Okay. Uh, is that, is the blue box the, um, the, oh, the item one? Alright, let's take you out. Oh, is that the yellow one I'm thinking of? Oh, we want the other one. Wait, what is this? Ooh. Oh, okay, so shortcut back to Toy Castle. Okay, that's really cool, but, uh... What's the shortcut back? <laughs> oh, sweet. Also, you're really cute. Oh, it's a runway. Oh, this is the, uh, seems to be the bit angry. Try to push towards the Alekel pen. Yes. They are actually adorable. Kind of want one. I doubt we can get these because obviously there's the, uh, the farmers. Oh man, there's so much, so much to do. All right, so just gotta go around looking for them. And if I can find a place to fish, that's also something we need to do. But the goggles, man, I'm so, I knew like not to get rid of the goggles. Oh yeah, sure. Let you join the party. Why not? Uh. Oh, there's another one. So I'm just gonna keep running around till we find these and I can just get the, find the, the box, the bank box. Oh man. This is why I, I love like sort of like Digimon sort of games like this. Cause like at one point you start getting things and you're like, oh, what do I do with this? And then eventually once you get that one like puzzle piece in it all starts like starts coming together. Ah, oh, it's great. Oh, there's a TV there. So I, we know of two now, two places. Oh, here, perfect. Right, uh, I'm just gonna put this in. Goggles, 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 goggles. Where are you? Goggles, goggles, goggles. Where's my goggles at? Goggles? I definitely didn't sell my goggles. Got two power chips. Take them, but uh, unless they're on, I already had them on me. I probably went past it. There's, there's, I didn't, I know I didn't get rid of them. Oh, that. Yeah, I went past it. I got so worried for a second there. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh. Oh, nice. Uh, what was that earthquake just now? Did you feel that? I did. Ooh. So the good news is I know what we're doing. Instead of just going around trying to find stuff and end up trying to do a million things at once, in my head I've got a clear path of what I want to do. I kind of want a spark crow. They look kind of cool. Oh, I do not like them. Spiders. Oh. There we go. Hey, level 24. Let's go, baby. Getting even stronger. And we're going to re- Just think we're going to reboot soon as well. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be just insanely strong. Oh, come on there. 
How many do I have to find? I don't know, but... Uh... Which way am I going? Don't mind find all these guys. It's gonna just make grinding a little bit easier later on. <laughs> Alright, we will go. Oh, okay. Half kick. Nice. Deadly bite. Come on. It's fine. You ain't gonna do anything to me, dude. Doing nothing. Yeah, you know, I'm getting the poison, which is fine. There you go. My dude did not want to die. Oh, we can uh uh do this. Reboot. So now we can get you to evolve. The next time you get to 20, well, now you can get to 20, you can evolve. That would be really strong as well. Anyone else wanna? You're 16, you're 18, you're 16. So the start of next episode, I feel like we're gonna be super OP, man. I already feel pretty OP now. So Seek, is that you? Oh, you found them, my goggles. Oh, you did it, thank you so much. Hello? Oh, that looks so cute. Hello, uh, you really are a mechanica. How curious. I should tell you something, Seek. I was just, uh, running through Flatland randomly. It's actually running away. The castle you must have seen on the horizon, that is where I used to live. But I had to run away. That place, the sentient running it is... Sorry, I really can't speak about it. But if you ever go there, please be careful. Right, I promise to repay you somehow. I could accompany you on your journey, but without my tools, I don't know if I would be of any help. Oh, your town? You're inviting me to stay there? There's a mechanic that can help me with equipment. Should have said so right away. Oh, let's exchange these so we don't lose contact. Oh, maybe you can uh, do the TV ads for us. Okay, I'll see you in Colonel Dump. Nice. Oh, is that a cliff? Nice. Let's go, baby. Woo. Right. Uh. Oh, that's gonna be a way to like. That's gonna be a way to lower that and then go down there, surely. Oh. Uh. Hi. Well, my break. So let's battle. Let's do it. Ella Calf. I swear that was like a kid's thing when I was growing up. I'm like, I remember like, oh no, it's Ella Funk the Elephant. No, it was it Ella Calf the Elephant? What was it? Oh man. Very old. Uh, I remember like when I was a kid. Most of the times I'd learn about new toys or whatnot was from TV adverts, watching my cartoons on like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. What was it? Uh, four kids. And then four kids got changed to Jetix, I think. No, it's Fox Kids. Fox Kids, then it got changed to Jetix. Yeah, that was it. All the adverts, and then just. Ooh, that was fun, even though I lost. There's someone up here. You look. Oh, that's the person we beat. That's the Super Dash. Uh, right. So beam round here. Don't want to do game bot. So that's the way into the flatland. That's a dead end. All right. So I'll fight these. Just real quick. But I think this is probably a great place to end this part off. Because then what we'll do next episode, if I just uh, get back. Oh, before I forget, let's just use this. Um, next episode, we'll go to the the mouse cave, find the Forkman so we can unlock that area, explore the new residence around here, so maybe we can do the TV ad or whatnot. We should go, uh, what else should we do? When it's morning, go into that cave and then go to the memory lake in the morning as well to see if anything pops up there. Explore Protocol Forest even more because there's got to be an area I missed to find the chief. There's got to be, right? Or there's got to be something I'm missing. And then uh, I'm going to do some grinding off screen. Going to get everyone uh, rebooted again and leveled up. And that's just a lot to do. And oh man, I'm excited. All right, I'll catch you guys next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.